morning. My name is Chef Philip Mbimi. We're here today at Social House of the Asmaya Group, and we're going to be preparing a macaroni and cheese. Let's get cooking. So here I have the bacon, and basically this is a slab bacon that I'm just going to cut into a nice julienne chop here. Okay, so we're going to let, let this bacon go into our pan. We've got our bacon going in the pan here, just nice and slow. I'm rendering it off here. All right, so I'm going to uh, slice some garlic and also prepare our shallot. For this, we just want to lightly bring out the flavor. I'm going to splash in a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. And again, we're not frying, we're just slowly sweating. The next move is my separate cheeses. So I have the block mozzarella that I'm just going to grate as well. So this one I like to use about 40% of the mozzarella, another 40% of the cheddar, and about 20% of our Parmigiano Reggiano. You don't want to go too heavy on this one as the dish may become a little salty. Now I'm going to add in, this is some heavy cream that I've reduced, and you can see that's starting to kind of create a little sauce. We're going to add in the macaroni noodle. We're just tossing all the ingredients together. Next, add in my cheeses, cheddar and the mozzarella, the parmesan as well. This is pretty much ready to serve. I'm going to put in a little fresh ground, pepper, a little bit of salt like that. To finish the dish, I'm just going to add in some nice fresh butter, fresh parsley. Now for plating this dish, what I like to do is use a dish that's safe in the oven can be ceramic or polyurethane. We're just gonna finish it off with a little bit of breadcrumb. I have my oven on broil or full grill at about 300 degrees. So it's very, very hot on the top. And then I just place this in to the middle shelf. Just want our breadcrumbs to toast up and get a little bit brown. Um, so with this full grill broil setting on the oven at about 295 degrees, it should only take about five minutes or less. Here we have arrived with our macaroni and cheese. To just finish it off, a little bit of Parmesan and a little bit of cheddar again, a little splash of our pepper and one more shot of our parsley. taste is very rich. Um, the combination of cheeses between the mozzarella, the parmesan and cheddar is blended quite nicely. Uh, the smokiness of the bacon is also uh, accentuated by the bacon. And what I really like, again, is the final touch of the breadcrumbs just lightly on top, just to crisp it up, give it a little bit of crunch, and have a nice texture to the top of our macaroni and cheese. If you like this dish, Get the full recipe at www.kokiku.tv and don't forget to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel.